All right, so we're 15 down, five to go. Thanks for joining us for the last five unboxings of these Doctor Who Series 2 uh, Titan vinyl figures. We are two figures by my account, the Dalek Sec and the Brown Suit Tenth Doctor away from having the complete set um, of the Series 2 vinyl figures. If you're just, just joining us, you're watching these videos completely out of sequence, so go back and start again. But if you are interested to find out what's going on here, uh, the theory is that if you buy these Titans in bulk online in a box of 20, as opposed to individually in store, then the chances of you getting the entire set plus a variant or two go through the roof. Not only that, but you also save a lot of money by buying them in bulk. So now that you know that, go all the way back and, and watch the first video because who, who starts on the last part? Anyway, for those of you who have been here from the beginning and watched this all in chronological order, um, we're, we're heading towards the end now. This is our Titan number 15 and we're just going to jump straight in open it up oh that was easily the cleanest titan break that we've had on the box for this run it is heavy and i'm afraid it may be a davros i never liked this guy especially when he threatens the duplicates uh, is it is it oh it is Stupid Davros. Well, he still looks alright. Oh, he's got a... There you go. Before I said he wasn't articulate. He didn't have any points of articulation. Apparently his head can swivel. So, there you go. We've learned something from our Davros duplicate. Okay, so we've got four Titans to go. We need two figures. Can we do it? Let's go on to Titan 16 and we'll find out. Welcome back guys, I messed up the numbering again. This is now, we're on to Titan 17. So 17, 18, 19, 20, that's right. So this is 17 here, feeling heavy again. Please let us avoid a Davros. Although I'm afraid, oh, it's touch and go. Because they've got, they've, they've all got the Dalek base, it's very hard to tell. We want, we're crossing our fingers for a black Dalek sec. And we get what we wish for. Brilliant, what is that? Excellent. The Dalek sec has joined our little collection. And he's a very stylish looking Dalek. Very suave. Um... I would imagine, obviously, in the same mould as the bronze Dalek. He definitely has a very... Like, it's a striking look, though. We've got the silver and the white against the black. He comes with the standard accessories, the gun, the plunger, and the eye, which are all in there. I'll, um, I'll obviously assemble these later on. They do require some dipping in hot water to loosen the vinyl to fit all of the little accessories in, so you'll see these in their complete form later, but that's brilliant, Dalek Sec has joined our collection, which means I think we only need, um, we need the brown suit Tenth Doctor, and we actually, I think we might need a regular clockwork robot too, we already have one which I sus suspect is the variant, um, so we'll see how we go, but at the moment, we're getting very, very close with only three Titans to go. The time to unbox Titan number 18 is here. And we're hoping that it's either an 11, uh, sorry, a 10th Doctor with a brown suit or the regular, um, I think he's got a black coat or a dark blue coat clockwork robot. If it's either of those two, then we are one away from completing the set. I think this may be a doctor or oh, it's 
hard to tell. It is hard to tell. I, I would say a doctor. It's going to be a doctor or a clockwork robot, but just based on the size of the head. And it is a doctor. And it is. It's not just any doctor. It is our variant doctor. Our one in 40. You can see that he has his little brown suit on. And, oh, how cool is this? He comes complete with... Oh, is that going to go in there? Complete with his fob watch. So this, this is no normal 10th Doctor, guys. This is the 10th Doctor when he was uh, John Smith and locked all of his essence and Time Lord memories into the fob watch. If you remember that episode, it was a brilliant episode, and that is a brilliant Titan. What a very, very cool, cool Titan to get so close towards the end. Um, it's not it's not the base set. It's certainly not the Doctor that we were thinking that we were going to get, but to say that I would be disappointed would be ridiculous because he looks unbelievably cool, this Doctor. He's easily the fa my favourite tenant that we've got so far. Favourite tenant, uh, tenant that I've actually seen in general. Like I've heard about this guy online, but... Um, to, to actually get him is is amazing. So that's brilliant. He's got a 1 in four, 40 variant, um, a rarity, sorry. So that means that he's fairly hard to come by. So the fact that we got him in our case um, is just another big tick towards buying these things in bulk and getting your hands on some of the variants. So we've got two to go, guys. One, two, and we're hoping that there is a brown suit doctor and maybe a, a regular clockwork... Uh, clockwork robot in there so very cool David uh, Tennant variant let's open the last two guys okay guys this is the second last Titan of the case of 20 that we have number 19 we're crossing our fingers for a, a clockwork robot or a tenth doctor let me just double check TARDIS uh, we yes we have everything we need except for the tenth doctor in his brown suit and the clockwork robot. And this feels, unfortunately, uh, a bit like a heavier style figure. I'm afraid it might be a Vashta Narada. No, uh, no, 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 no. Not a Vashta Narada. Instead, it is the blue clockwork robot that we were crossing our fingers for. Fantastic. How brilliant, guys. Excellent detail again. And um, some of the variants you would have seen in the first series and even um, the different David Tennant in this series, the slight changes in costume. I'm not a massive fan of slightly changing a variant. Um, but these guys, you can see that the art on their... The art and the colours on their masks are completely different. The outfits are completely different colours. Um, and they do look like very, very different figures. I'll stack them together later on and you, can, and you can see them when I do the final review. But he looks fantastic and I'm thrilled that we've got him. So, by my count, guys, that leaves this one box to hopefully contain a 10th Doctor in a brown suit. I'm not going to open it yet. As you can see, it's... It's nice and sealed. We're not playing games here. We're just um, testing a theory that seems to be working pretty well. So we've got one to open. Last set of videos, you had to cross your fingers for an Ood. Let's cross our fingers for a doctor in a brown suit. Come straight back, guys. All right, guys, just as it did in the first series of uh, the unboxing videos that we did, it's come down to the last box. We need a 10th Doctor, David Tennant, in his brown suit with the blue pinstripes to complete this set. And um, we've already got a fair hit of variants too. By my count, I was just looking and I think we've got three out of the possible four... Is it? 
Yeah, we do. We have three out of the possible four variants, which is insane to think how hard it is to find one of those in a retail store, and we have three of them. Anyway, we'll get to that when we do the recap at the end. I won't keep you in suspense anymore, or me, more importantly. Let's see how we go. If Again, I said this, I think, in the first video. If this isn't the 10th Doctor, it's not the end of the world, because I've definitely already got the value that I've wanted. I don't think it is. I think he's got far too big of a head. I think it might be another cyber leader, actually. Which would be weird. Let's find out. The final one is another Bashta Narada. And we will click him into place. I don't know if this is what's meant to happen with these vinyls, but the other one came in individual pieces too. He's the only one that has, but it seems to be the way that he comes. So, well, there you go, guys. The 20th box. We fell one Dr. Short here in his uh, brown suit with his blue pinstripes. But overall, um, uh, I mean... I'm kind of torn because I really did want to get the full base set of 12, but if you told me you're going to miss out on one Doctor that, in all honesty, is really easy to find uh, singly on eBay because he's actually, he comes um, three in every 40, so I'm really surprised that we didn't get one of him. That's actually really strange. I was expecting to get two, maybe even three. Um, so the fact that we didn't get one is a, is a little bit odd. Um, but if you told me, you have to miss out on that, but you'll get three of the possible variants, which are extraordinarily hard to find. I would have taken that deal every single day of the week. So overall, guys, I've put my money where my mouth is again, and although we didn't um, come up with the full set, we got three of the variants, and in my book, that is just as good, if not a whole lot better. So um, I'm going to come back. I'm going to do a recap in a minute, but... Um, yeah, for a second time, I don't think it was beginner's luck. I don't think it's a coincidence that we get an overwhelming amount of the, the figures that we're after when you buy them in a case. So I'm going to stack them all up. You can have a look at, at, at everything we got in a moment. Um, but yeah, again, a case is the way to go. I think it's how I'm going to be buying. They've announced um, more series in the future. There's the series uh, that's coming out for the 50th anniversary with all of the Doctors. I'll be buying that in a case, and we'll probably do an unboxing video for that too. But uh, so far, so good. We've done it again, guys. We've we've proven the theory right. Um, if you are going to buy these babies, you know how to do it now. We'll come back and we'll have a look at all of the figures that we got in this video. Um, we'll do a bit of a recap. And again, I will um, point you in the direction of where you can buy a case online at a great price, regardless of whether you live in um, the UK, Australia, like I do, or even the US, there are some very, very cool people uh, online, some very cool retailers that uh, offer massive discounts when you buy them in cases. So if you come back for the next video, I'll tell you where to find them, and you can see all of the Titans, all of the 20 Titans that we've unboxed side by side. So come back, guys, and uh, have one last good look at our, our bounty. Don't go anywhere, guys, because there's still plenty of unboxing still to come. Click the video on your screen now to be taken to the next part of the series. And while you're at it, why don't you hit the subscribe button and join our YouTube channel.